out of the ice. The New England Wolves are going to score an empty net goal here with 0.7 seconds left to go. Hockey fans, welcome to another edition of Wolves Hockey Show, the number one rated hockey theme show on Lakes Region Public Access. Behind me we have the Merrill Fay Arena, the home of the New England Wolves. And it's been a great weekend of hockey, especially for our EHLP team, which won two games this weekend. Uh, we got a couple clips we're going to show you of our EHLP team, but before we get to that, big shout out to a couple of our support staff done a great job for us all season. Thank you to Granite State Physical Therapy for all the uh, trainers. They've been able to attend our games and help us out with uh, you know, our athletes nursing different kind of injuries and ailments. Big shout out and thank you to all our host families for all they've come out and provided for our, uh, creating a great environment for our kids here in the Lakes region. And then thank you very much to Dave Pollock, our academic advisor and our scorekeeper for all our games. He also serves as the public address announcer and does a great job for each Wolves home game. Thank you very much. Now, on to those EHLP clips coming up for you right now. That's a turnover to the Seahawks. And it's pushed on. Jayco cannot get that and go from weekly, but the effort was there. And the Seahawks are playing a much different second period. And the Wolves can extinguish all that right here with a shot on goal. And it's a save. Chance of front follow-up score. Riley Birch made the save on Ryan Sember. Wolves stuck with it. And the goal scorer is Noah Whitehill. by our EHLP team securing two victories by nice margins against Massachusetts opponents this past weekend. Big shout out goes to Noah Whitehill at 2006 forward on our EHLP team. He'll be attending USA Hockey Nationals uh, in March with our U16s. But in the meantime, he's been playing really well for our EHLP team and had two goals, uh, one in each game this past weekend. Now on to our EHL team. They're going through a little rocky patch now as a group. Uh, they're jockeying for position in the North Division standings. We got a couple clips coming up for you right now, but before we get to that, big shout out to Cam Reardon. He's been securing the pipes between, uh, between the pipes for our EHL team, and he's doing a great job competing for every puck and really providing a backbone for that EHL squad. Now, onto those clips. Face off, one by Mensch, now it's Plaza. Pass over to Mensch, Mensch, shot, save, SCORES! Mensch is shot! Stopped by Paremba, but he couldn't get all of it and it trickles in. But the power play goal here for the... Face off. One by Lackis! With one eye, Lackis wins the faceoff draw. He's driving the net now. Pass across Charlet. The throw. Lackis scores! Lackis scores! Lackis scores! AJ Lackis! With one eye! So keep grinding, EHL team. I know we're, uh, every season has its ups and downs. 
You guys have proven that you can uh, play with anybody in this league and beat anybody in this league. So figure it out, work hard, get those results we had early on in the season. Before you know it, playoffs will be here, and your season can end any day, so make the most of it while you can. Now, special segment today, we're going to talk a little bit about the U16s. We haven't talked about them in a couple months. Coach John Guerin's squad secured a bid to USA Hockey Nationals. Their roster has been approved by USA Hockey, thereby officially recognizing them as the New Hampshire uh, recipient, the New Hampshire representation, to go play in Buffalo from March 30th to April 3rd. Uh, it's going to be an amazing opportunity. They're the first Lakes Region uh, youth hockey team to go to Nationals. And they've earned it. They're a really good, talented squad that's won all the way up through the Wolves organization from 14s to 15s to now 16s. And it's going to be exciting to see them perform in Buffalo, New York at the Northtown Ice Center, uh, right next to the University of Buffalo campus. Uh, and we got a couple clips, slideshow, of some of the details of that trip coming up for you right now. Congratulations to our Wolves U16 team. You've qualified and been accepted to USA Hockey Nationals in Amherst, New York, March 30th to April 3rd. It's one of the premier tournaments in all of North America, and you're going to partake in it. Thank you especially to Coach John Guerin and Coach John McKenzie and for all the fundraising you've done for this great squad. Thank you. Good luck to our 16s in just a little bit over a month. You guys are coming back together after your high school seasons for you know, a couple weeks of training and development and getting that team camaraderie back together. You guys have proven that you can beat the best, so keep up the hard work. Now, on to two exciting segments of our show, uh, our e, uh, EHL alumni news. We've had a great showing by a number of our alumni players, including Richard Jelenskis, uh, Matt Amante, and many more. We got a clip for you we're going to show you in a second. Uh, after that, Player signings. This time of the year, players commit to playing on our Wolves roster for the 23-24 season. And we've had a good job, a good leg up on recruiting, and we're excited about the squads we're building for the upcoming future. we got those two segments coming for you right now. Congratulations to alumni Nick Beeman and Dalton Carl for being chosen as all-league players for the University of Louisville. Congrats, guys. Congrats for a great weekend from Matt Amante for the Snoo Penman. Here's a recent OT goal. Recently, Austin Weber and Richard Jelenskis faced off against each other in a Federal Hockey League pro game. Richard Jelenskis lit the lamp again. Congrats, Richard. Back Jelenskis, he'll play it off the boards to himself. Gets by Daniel, shoots, he scores! Richard Jelenskis puts the Mammoth up 2-0. The Wolves junior teams are officially building their rosters for the 23-24 junior hockey season. Check out our Instagram for the full list of players signed. So really excited about the rosters we're building. Uh, you guys who are coming into the program, you're building on a tradition of what we've built here in the Lakes region with the Wolves program. Uh, I'm really proud of the success we've had over the last number of years, everything from winning uh, EHLP championship to the Frozen Finals with our EHL team last year to this year's U16 national berth. It's an exciting time to be a member of the Wolves, an exciting time to be uh, here in the Lakes region. Now, upcoming events, we got games out of the EHLP and the EHL levels coming up on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, down to the last few handful of games for both our teams before the playoffs start the first week in March. And then also we got tryouts coming up. The details on tryouts will be uh, at the conclusion of this episode. So make sure you go online, check out that information, and, and throw your hat in the ring to try out for a Wolves squad. We thank everyone for tuning in. Uh, it's been a spectacular season so far. We love having you here out at the rink. Um, we got a lot of programs we're excited about, including our first ever Wolves Camp coming uh, this summer. So make sure you keep stay tuned to our website, our social media, uh, and be part of it. 
Thanks for tuning in, hockey fans. Go Wolves, and we'll see you soon. Go to the Wolves website, www.ne-wolveshockey.com to register for tryouts today. U16, U18, and the Wolves Junior Program. Sign up, it's only $20. For more information on the Wolves Program, check out our website, www.ne-wolveshockey.com.